Imagine presenting your epic prank idea to some of the world's greatest pranksters and then having the opportunity to see it through with their help. Actor, filmmaker, producer, and star of the hit franchise Jackass, Johnny Knoxville is joining me now to talk all about ABC's new show, The Prank Panel. Good morning, Johnny. Good morning. So I saw the special preview of this show back in May. I was honestly laughing hysterically, and I'm so excited for the new episodes. Talk to me a bit about what the whole experience has been like for you on the show. Uh, it's, it's been great. It's, you know, we usually for the pranks I've done in the past, they're, they're, it seems like we, we, we do more involved pranks on the prank panel. Um, and, you know, people come in wanting to prank their mom, dad, brother, and sister. And so they're really invested in pranking this person because that, usually that person has been pranking them their whole life. So it's, it's fun to help people exact revenge. Absolutely. Now, I have a tendency to be a bit of a prankster myself, but I feel like my pranks don't even come close to what's going on on this show. So what are you looking for as a prank spurt when people are pitching their pranks to you? It can be any number of things. I can like their personality. I can like their idea. I can even like their clothing. Oh, and this one right here is one of the best <laughs> pranks I've ever been involved with. It was on last night. This lady wanted to prank her son who's terrified of clowns, but she went so hard on him during the pitch that we're like, we should reverse prank her. So she's walking into the room right now. She just thought she saw her son push a clown out the window to his death. And so a minute later, she goes into the room and there's already a crime scene oh up. And so, and she believed it. Oh my God, that is hysterical. So we know what you now consider when people are pitching their prank ideas to you, but what qualities would you need before you can actually call yourself a true prankster? Oh, I don't know. I think, uh, you know, you just have to uh, have that itch and desire to, to get a really wonderful reaction out of someone. And you have to know what buttons to push to get that. Absolutely. What's your favorite part about working with Eric and Gabourey? Um, well, Eric kind of comes from this same world, so I get so much uh, energy from him in that way. He's very smart and creative. And Gabby is just, she is hilarious. She's so smart and so, uh, you know, she speaks her mind so well. She'll tell, she'll tell people exactly what she's thinking, where Eric and I will try to be polite. Gabby will just let them have it. I love it. Now, you've done a lot of pranks over the years. So if you had to give me your top three pranks of all time, what would they be? Um, well, I think the clown from last night's episode is definitely in the discussion. And um, yeah, my top three. Then there's some ones from the toy car with Ryan Dunn from the first movie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah that one really in the giant hand from three. I mean, there's a few. Oh, yeah, I bet. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning, Johnny. We cannot wait to see what more episodes are coming our way with all the different pranks. Don't miss the prank panel every Sunday night at 8 on ABC and streaming on Hulu the following day.